and welcome everybody here on Twitch Chats and everybody on YouTube for our next Brawl deck. This is another donation deck, so another viewer submitted deck. This is Nissa Who Shakes the World. So we're playing mono green here with Nissa. Brawl, of course, is our singleton format where we have 25 life and we can just play cards that are legal and standard and we can only play one of each copy. Um, so far, I haven't had much success with Brawl, but we're hoping to turn that around here. Um, Nis is just a, a you know great card to have um, on like turn five and everything and can, can really ramp you up a whole lot. Being every single forest, being uh, able to tap for two green mana. And we're hope, hoping, uh, hoping to take advantage of that and have a lot of extra mana and cast some really big threats. And we have a lot of card advantage in this deck as well. You know, we have stuff like uh, Guardian Project that each creature, whenever it enters, we draw a card. Return of the Wild Speaker, they can draw a lot of cards if we have a large creature in play. Um, Keeper of the Fables, uh, whenever a creature deals damage to our opponent, uh, we draw a card. Um, we have Great Henge, you know, they can draw a lot of cards as well. So a lot of ways to draw cards here. Uh, so hopefully we can get Nissa in play, untap with it, have a lot of mana, and draw a lot of cards, then play a lot of creatures, and win with said creatures. All right, that's that's the goal of our deck. That's what we got here. Um, so let's go ahead and give this a try. So Gilded Goose, so question is, why aren't we playing Gilded Goose or a Boreal Grazer? I'll probably say about those is we only have 25 lands, so a Boreal Grazer, while it while it may mean that we have more mana on turn two or turn three, maybe by turn four or turn five we don't have extra lands to play potentially with only having the 25 lands and um, and Goose like we're really only going to be using it once. We don't have like other ways that we're really making food except for I guess this gingerbread cabin cabin here. What are they playing? Kalia? It's like I have a Bond of Flourishing on turn two, but I don't really have anything for three, four, five, you know, like a three, four. I have Nissa and then two six drops. I'm going to take the free mulligan. This looks better. We're playing Brawl, where you get a commander, and Nissa is our commander. So it's basically like we get an eight card hand. So obviously I could just hold Harpooner in hand and wait for them to play Kalia and then kill Kalia. But Kalia is not that valuable whenever it's on the battlefield. It's just a 3-3. It doesn't do anything special whenever it's actually in play. And I want to be able to just keep playing my, my cards. I want to keep pressure on them and everything like that. Wrinkle cards are just amazing. I really like that card.
So they're making us clear out our hand. Hmm. Yeah, I could have turned the wrinkle into an elk. But... Then at that point... Um... And you know, I could be I could be holding back the harpooner just to block it also. But honestly, like they're they're at eight, I'm at nineteen. I I, I wanna just stay aggressive. Honestly. Through this land, we are all connected. Behold, nature's true power. I mean, maybe it wasn't the right play, but that was that was the play I was going for. Put him down to three. That really hurts. Did I comment on the November update? Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm, I didn't have like any like major comment to have. I guess like I'm happy to answer any questions. You know, I'm here. To, you got questions? I'm happy to answer them. Or. Whoa. What? Why did it just skip? Why didn't I have any chance to do anything after I attacked? I didn't I did, did not pass turn. Cuz I should have been able to turn this thing into a 3-3 three three and then then it's a 6-6. Six six. It just didn't give me priority at all. Like, I, sh I should have been able to keep my mobilized district there. That was just, they just didn't give me priority. Because it, it had the three counters on it from Nyssa, so I could have turned it into a 6-6. Six six, and it's not like it had summoning sickness or anything like that, or I couldn't use that ability. But yeah, it looks like I needed to... I kept the Thorn Mammoth instead of the the thing to make it an Elk, because I was thinking I was going to be able to play Nyssa the next turn, and then I'd want the Thorn Mammoth to be able to fight. But, um... Yeah, I guess I need to go full control, but um, I didn't know that. Um... But yeah, the... The Wrinkle... Just destroyed us. That's... That's three times we played against Rankle. That's just a Rankle has just destroyed us so far today.
Well, I was about to untap with, and like if we if we draw a land, I just don't really need that elk. But yeah, I mean, hindsight, I guess I could have thrown away the thorn mammoth and kept the elk card and elk the wrinkle. Or I mean, honestly, hindsight, I could have just like we didn't we didn't end up winning the race. I thought we were going to be able to win the race, but hindsight, I should have just been holding back the harpooner to block wrinkle. Like that's. Like, there's no reason to Elk Wrinkle when we have a Harpooner. So I should have just not been attacking with with that. But I, I thought we were going to be able to win the race. Well, we didn't. I don't regret not ranking, or not Elking the Wrinkle. Sorry. But I do regret... Um... I do regret attacking with the Harpooner each turn. That's what I regret. Deckmaster's just been down since Friday. Hasn't been working. It's time to step out of the pool. Don't be surprised if we meet again. Close your eyes, breathe, and listen to the sounds of the wild. I'd get out of the way if I were you. I could have played Voracious Hydra for two to kill the Fibblethip and drawn a card with Beast Whisperer. I liked getting this Arcbow Ranger in play. Place is like a zoo. Is this like indestructible or something? Okay, there it goes. Uh, just choosing like where to put it. I'm not gonna attack for the four damage here to be able to have two blockers to be able to protect Vivian. Hey, March. Happy Brawl Day. Yeah, there's awesome cards in the Simic Colors. So, that's... Your Rock's a pretty good commander because you get to play Simic. You get a lot of good interaction and everything. So this just puts two uh, cards, yeah, from the graveyard, put them into my hand. I will protect the virtue of this world. We're fit enough to survive.
Witness the ties that bind us all. I like the incubation druid being able to add three mana now. That hurts. So they can kill the Vivian, but they cannot kill Nissa. So we'll have a lot of mana next turn. I will not go extinct. All right, definitely get this thing in play. Oh, I guess it was free if I would I could have Oh, I had the mana to go to go rampant growth. I didn't even think of that. The land fights for us. I should have rampant growth first. I had the mana to do that. Bring back Spark Trooper with Thunderkin Awakener. Be pretty nice. Yeah, I could have got a land out of my deck if I would have rampant growth, right? Because yeah, we would have had the three. And put a land into play. Two, four, six. I guess I would have. Let's see. I guess I would have like my forest would be tapped then, but then this thing would be a seven seven. Is that right? No. Yeah, no. My my force would still be untapped. So yeah, I could I could just have this beanstalk giant and I could just have it just be a seven seven. I could just have a forest, another forest in play. Draw some spells. No. Getting really punished for not using Beanstalk Giant also, because we've just drawn three straight lands. Like, all, all three of our draws have just been lands. So that's not, that's not helping. I wish I would have shuffled. I mean, Garen Brig doesn't really add any more mana than a forest does. Like, this can add one extra mana. 
because you're spending five to add six, but a forest just taps for two mana. So a forest does just as good, but it's just a lot easier instead of having to like use this and you know activate this and then use that mana. It's just it's a bigger headache. Just play a forest does the exact same thing with Nissa in play. It's looking like we're going to be able to ultimate this Nissa from what my opponent's doing over here. Maybe. Hopefully. Just one mana left. Would have been nice if we would have drawn anything else besides a forest for the last four draws. Life but I can't complain too much whenever we get to get all these cards out of the deck. I suppose. Oh yeah, they sacrificed the wrong massacre girl. They need to Yeah, they need they sacrifice the token, they need to not sacrifice the token. Power surges through these lands. Rise, my elemental friend. You can guarantee that we won't draw another forest. You don't know. You never know. We could draw another forest. Yes, Dino. Stream is lagging. Yeah, you can activate. You can still make Mobilize District a 3-3. Like right now, it's a 0-0 that has three counters on it. So you can still make it a 3-3 with three counters on it. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. So my lands are indestructible, but Massacre Girl can still kill them. I can help you no longer. Double check. All right, so there's no lands left in the deck because there's not only for there's no forest, and we also use we use the Nissa's Triumph to go grab our other spell our other lands that were not forest. There's not a single land in the deck. We got 26 spells. I protect that which cannot protect itself. No, don't tap the mobilized district. What are you doing? Harness 
So it's an elemental citizen. It's going to be pretty difficult for my opponent to get a 1-1 one, one because they have the Great Henge also. So they have to have a, a token creature that's a 1-1 one, one for Masker Girl. Which I guess, I mean, I guess they could do the whole Masker Girl quasi-duplicate Masker Girl again, though. Or just Yurok Masker Girl. That works, too. This is actually going to be kind of difficult to beat this Masker Girl, isn't it? Each creature draws four cards now. <laughs> well, we can maybe mill them out. If it wasn't for Masker Girl, I wouldn't feel too bad right now. But they have that card, and I feel bad. Hmm. Thief of Sandy is going to mill us now. Do we have a Guardian Project? That well, must have been a different game. Ugin's good. Sure, whatever. I'll play this land they know about. Um, we are but motes in a vast multiverse. Be gone, Intel. I shall withdraw from this petty squabbling. The land shall conquer you. No, I mean, no, I, I don't think we're going to be beating my opponent with all these cards. Too many forests for us. Too many forests. The one, the real big thing that I messed up with was that Beanstalk Giant. I could have cast this Fertile Footsteps for free, and I didn't. And then we just drew four lands in a row afterwards before we Nissa ulted. If I would have just gotten a forest out of the deck, would have shuffled, maybe we don't draw the four lands in a row. So it looks like Command the Dread Horde, which I can just hope that they mill out. Especially like, ho hopefully they grab Risen Reef, Cavalier Thorns, <clears throat> and Race Forerunners. That's not a good way to mill out.
Oh, yeah, it's, it's definitely not that we wouldn't have drawn four lands in a row if I would have done that. It would have been a very slightly, very slight less chance that we would have. These things all have trample. We have cards like Guardian Project and Great Henge. Even though we ultimated, we did not draw them. Still just drew all those lands. Ugh. Yeah, that would have been a good time for a fog. That would have been a great time for a fog. Cool, we got an Nissa Mirror. And we get to go first. I don't like not having any ramp. I guess we kind of have ramp if we have if we get one more land where I can finale for two to put a uh, ramp creature into play. I've, if I was on the draw, I would have mulliganed. I'm going to try this on the play, though. I liked having Voracious Hydra and even the transformation, like some things that could have. Mm, I should probably wait on that card. I should probably wait on that card till after I play Nissa. Indestructible. Lame. Seek shelter in my stewardship. The land fights for us. I'll just chomp lock with the reclaimer to help keep Nissa alive. Assuming they play their own Nissa. This is whenever Thorn Mammoth or another creature enters the battlefield, Thorn Mammoth fights. Yay, we won the mirror. We were on the play. All right, first time that Thorn Mammoth card looked pretty good. All right, we won the mirror. I'm going to reset Arena. I didn't like how it was. Acting there towards the end. We'll just do a, an arena reset here to hopefully clear up future lag issues. Hmm. 
<laughs> yeah, I like that Thorn Mammoth. Especially with Nyssa, where you can have extra mana because of Nyssa. For sure. <laughs> Well, hopefully, yeah, hopefully, Fientero, I hope, I hope you see different plays for whenever you play. Hopefully that helps. <laughs> Spark Double Thorn Mammoth. That does sound pretty ludicrous. Ugh. Oh, we're on the play. I don't know. I don't really love the hand. Yeah, I'm going to go free mulligan. This is much better. Much better. It's our second time playing against the Yara. The last time we played against it, they went turn one at Witch's Oven as well. They did not go... Red Horde Invasion that turn, though. I'll just get Yorvo in play instead of Nightpack Ambusher, even though it doesn't use my mana as well, because Yorvo um, just gets bigger with playing more creatures, so I like that. So they have the ability just to block and sacrifice... That's what they want to do, because they want to be able to keep getting new 1-1s each turn with this thing. They could just double block the forest and not trade forest for a Yara. Yeah, they're just going to... Because now they get new creature, and each each turn they could just... Now they'll like sacrifice to a Yara... If they don't sacrifice, then they just get a 2-2. And, you know, like, a 2-2 isn't very valuable. Piper is pretty cool. So I can finale for 10 this next turn. Oh, that would have been a good one to have. I mean, I guess I could could just play aggressive mammoth and night pack ambusher. The land fights for us. Hmm. Four, six, eight, ten. I'll just do this thing. Maybe I should wait a turn. Now let's do this. Because I could play like both, getting both those things in play first would be really nice. But I guess this is a lot of damage. Um, what is this? So that's 34, 49 trample. I guess that's probably lethal. Well, yeah, Endrace gives them trample. So these, these things all have trample. So I, I guess 49 trample damage will do. Turn five kill. Yeah, because we went Leafkin on two, Yorvo on three, Nessa on four, and now that on five. Nessa gives you so much mana. 
Just cast Finale for 10 <laughs> on turn 5. 49 trample damage on turn 5. That's crazy. Okay. We'll keep this. We'll lead with... I guess we don't need to lead with Castle. We'll come into play untapped. We're good. Oh, it's another Nissa Mirror. Uh, but we're on the draw now for the Nissa Mirror. I think this is the same opponent we just played. It must have had a very fast win also. I had I had a Dork. I had a Leafkin Druid added two of the mana. But yeah, yeah, I guess just Nissa on her own could have made 12 mana. That's true. All right, Gingerbread Cabin, a little awkward here. We need three other forests. This is not a forest. That's a forest. No blocks. Ow. So we'll be able to play Nissa first. Power surges through these lands. The land shall conquer you. Good job, Wild One Preserver. Get to double block and not lose a land. All right. So let's see. Got a lot of mana. I guess that means I should play Ugin. I could go Bond first. Yeah, Return of the Wildspeaker only draws... Ugh. I don't even want this card. I'll take a land. I came into being long before you. Secrets manifest before you. Be wary of the ground you walk on. It only draws three cards right now. Return of the Wildspeaker, that is. Plus three, plus three. What mm, about no attacks? Yeah, so we give our, our creatures all plus three, plus three there. Also, like I could attack with like Forest, Bronted on Gingerbread Cabin, and then do that. I should probably do just get the, just basically just turn this into a two for one, get two removal spells here. You're not human, are you? All right. And just basically, we don't have to worry about any pressure on on our planeswalkers now. Well, 
Yeah, with with drawing the mammoth, they would have had trample, and so yeah, they'd be dead with having that. But so if I would have, yeah, if I would have just, I guess, it, yeah, well, if we would have not blocked, because my creatures wouldn't have trample normally. That's perfectly fine with that play. I guess I could have been more aggressive and tried to kill them. Oh no, Storm, you're back. No, now we're going to lose again. No, we were doing good winning. We were on a winning streak. <laughs> Ooh, Chandra Tribal versus Nissa Tribal. But yeah, we're playing another one. It's been 46, 46 minutes, so yeah, we'll play another one. Playing basically an hour or so. <laughs> I'm kidding, Storm. I'm kidding. Mm. If this was a free mulligan, I would mulligan this too. But it's not a free mulligan. I want mana creature. We had mana creature the last couple turns. That was a lot better. Darn. They figured it out. If we don't get to play Nyssa after keeping a four lander... There's not really an end to that. <laughs> there's not really a there's not really a then to that if statement. Alright, we'll be able to play Nissa. Living in a monastery full of firebrands? <laughs> oh, they're so cute. All right, going with the double blocks. So we'll see what happens here this next turn. Go get him, buddies. All right, so it looks like like they may just go Chandra minus four to kill Nissa. Try my patience. I'm Chandra, the immolation sensation. I've always wanted to make a really big fire. That was not a good idea. That was that was not the best idea.
Do not want to do that. All right, four and two. Played some fast ones here. We're going to play one more. Yeah, let's play one more. 50 minute. Let's play one more. Hopefully get a five and two. Yeah, that, that oops was correct. Uh, you knew that was going to happen, Silver. Yeah, they... <clears throat> those creatures were elementals, so they did not take the damage. I thought they were going to go minus four on the Nyssa. We're gonna keep this. <clears throat> Normally, I would take the free mulligan without having a man accelerant, but I do really like this love struck beast, great henge combo. All right. Well, now I should probably just. Fertile footsteps instead of playing Love Struck Beast. Right into Kiora. Yeah, that, that lets me Nissa next turn. So we still get turn four Nissa. Beanstalk Giant, pretty great. My opponent going with the Lotus Field Kiora combo. Let's get moving. We didn't have that in our Kiora deck. Gives them a ton of mana, though. I will protect the virtue of this world. Harness the elements. We got some cool stuff to do. If we get to untap with Nyssa, hopefully we do. They have a whole lot of mana over there. They got eight mana plus prime speed plus the Vanifar activation, plus they have a land drop too. They could have nine mana. Man, Kiora Lotus Field is basically just like having Nyssa. Alright, I think we should have had Lotus Field in our Kiora deck. That's what I'm saying. That card looks really good. This combination looks really good. Boo. I'm jealous my opponent's doing so many cool things over here. Jealous. Okay. So now for our cool things. Um, I think I lead with this, which gives me this. I mean, I guess I could play Ugin and kill something with Ugin. I want to do this, though. Behold, nature's true power. All 
I like getting great engine play and then starting to play these big creatures and just getting a, a really big battlefield with big creatures and also still drawing cards. I don't know, like, killing Vanifar seems really important. Killing Kiora seems really important. You can't really kill both. No, I'm not gonna be playing a persistent petitioner's deck. I don't I don't like that that's legal in Brawl. I don't like the spirit of having of just doing that for a Brawl deck. Like that's that's not a deck I'm gonna be playing. I don't like that in a singleton format. Yeah, killing Vanifar is probably really important. They didn't put something back? They should definitely have put something back to reshuffle, I feel like. So they're working their way up towards Agent of Treachery this next turn. Ambusher? That's not what I was expecting. Boo, my great henge. I love to make a Yeah, splash. it's for Deckmaster that's not it's not working. Oh, they still had Agent Treachery this turn, never mind. So they just turned they just turned a Risen Reef into an Agent of Treachery by moving it up. Like Risen Reef turned into Wicked Wolf, which turned into Cavalier, which turned into Dream Eater, which turned into Agent of Treachery, all that same turn. Um Yeah, that's pretty awesome. So yeah, I guess I needed to use Ugin and, and kill the Vanifar last turn instead of playing the creatures. You know, I talked about how I, I liked getting these creatures down and drawing cards, but no, I, I needed to kill Vanifar. They activated Vanifar three turns, three times that turn. My only play is Ugin killed Nissa, but that's not going to be good enough. They're going to just start copying this Agent Treachery and everything. This game's over. Yeah, Kiora was one extra activation, and then this corridor monitor was another extra activation. So, yeah, that was my bad. I need to I need to kill that thing with Ugin. I took the wrong line. All right, so there's our Nissa deck. This deck. Uh, it's done the best for us so far. Did pretty good there. Um, yeah, having just always having turn five Nissa was just awesome. Um, or you know, a lot of times turn four Nissa. I think that the like Elvish Reclaimer shouldn't. I don't think this this card should be in the deck at all. I think this this card is is kind of a waste of a spot. This I would much rather just have any any ramp card uh, instead, like Arcane Signet. Like, give me that, or just give me a, a mana creature. Like, I'll take Gilded Goose, or even a Bordo... I'll, I'll take a Bordo Grazer. Take something else. Like, this this card just doesn't... It doesn't matter. It doesn't do anything. Um, so, yeah, I would get this out of here for any one or two mana 
uh, ramp card at all. Creatures though can can trigger like Great Henge later on. If you, but uh, if you don't have Signet, but Signet would also work. Um, besides that. We never got to play Vivian's Grizzly. Never got to play this card. Um, I can see, you know, like if you have a whole lot of mana with Nyssa, it gets to activate. Like, imagine like that that one game that we had absolutely nothing. If we would have, you know, that one game where we had nothing but lands, if we would have drawn that Vivian's Grizzly, that would have been amazing. Could have activated so much. What's up, Ganaris? Thanks for that resub. That is our fifth sub of the day. Thank you so much. Um, besides that, everything else was pretty good. I liked the once in future. I liked the out muscle. I like aggressive mammoth. Ugin's just amazing. I was impressed with the thorn mammoth. Beanstalk giant's really cool. But yeah, everything else worked pretty good. So there we go. All right, that's Nissa. It's our third Brawl Deck of the Day. We're about to play some Nickel Bolas. If you're watching on YouTube, uh, hit that like button. Leave some comments. Please do both of those. And I hope to see you for our next video, which is going to be Nickel Bolas. Thank you so much for watching.